everyone, especially to you sir. My name is Nurhuda Kuyangya Balail from 2BPLB and for today's video, I'm going to report or discuss the history of swimming. So, let's start. Let's explore the world of swimming. History of swimming. Archaeological and other evidences swimming to have been practiced as early as 2500 BCE in Egypt and thereafter in Assyrian, Greek, and Roman. In the Orange, swimming dates back at least to the 1st century BCE, there being evidences of swimming races then in Japan. This swimming has been practiced as early um, as 2500 BCE in Egypt and thereafter in Egypt in Assyrian, Greek, and Roman. By the 17th century, an imperial edict had made the teaching of swimming compulsory and schools and organized swimming events. So, by 17th century, um, the imperial edict made the teaching of swimming compulsory in a school and started to organize swimming events. So, yun, um, by 17th century, an imperial edict ay gumawa, gumawa or um, nag Create na ng teaching of swimming compulsory in schools and started organized swimming events. So, maganda pala no, kasi um, since nung mga, sa, hindi pa nga sa first century meron ng swimming. So, parang nai-enhance na ng um, mga nauna pa sa ating mga tao yung mga talent nila sa swimming. So, let's proceed to history of swimming as a sport. Swimming as an activity has been around since the dawn of line as it is required action for the survival of many species. So, swim, the history of swimming as a sport is that this swimming is an activity has been around since the dawn of line. It is required a physical action and it for the survival of many spe species like fish and other living things that live in the water. Humans have been known how to swim for entire body of history and throughout the years we have learned how to refine our swimming skills for help us conquer the water and help us to relieve our stress and make us relax our body. So, ayun, some of us ay ginagawa ang swimming para makarelax and yung para marili doon nila na relieve yung stress nila by the a way of swimming so swimming is yung naigagalaw natin lahat ng ating body di ba kasi pag nag-swimming kaganyan talaga yan so ayun and then there are some naman na ito yung kanilang mga talent yung halimbawa yung Nagsuswimming sila sa contest, yung yun na lang pala, nag-focus na lang talaga sila doon sa swimming kasi nga, um, yun yung skills nila, and then, nagsasamasali na din sila sa contest. Now, alamin natin kung ano ba talaga itong swimming. Swimming is an individual or team's racing sport that requires the use of one's entire body to move through water. Swimming is, it can be done by individual or team sport that requires to use our inner body in order that we can move in the water through the water so this part if we can go in nothing or if you can do is we this can take place in the pools or in the open water like sea lake beach or in the pools so what are the benefits that we can gain in performing swimming Swimming can improve our health and quality of life. The four swimming strokes or freestyle are the freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, and butterfly. Freestyle is the easiest to master strokes among the four strokes. The breaststroke is the use the stroke in competition, life-saving, and recreational swimming. 
and the backstroke is also this stroke is used in competition also and the butterfly is the most difficult to master among the stroke the kings had their queens on the throne we were pop champagne